My name is Anthony Huberman. Uh, I'm the recently uh, arrived chief curator here at the Contemporary, and I am very happy to begin this new curatorial program here. The overarching structure that I've been inspired by as a, as a method for how to approach making exhibitions kind of goes along this strange formula that summarized, you know, one plus one equals three is, is the best summary of it. This idea that by putting two things alongside each other, uh, to do, that, that to doing so doesn't necessarily illustrate a predefined theme, but kind of activates something else that, that, is, that is reached via interpretation, reached via experience, and all the viewers kind of get to that elusive third thing by themselves. So I started off, um, so going along with the one plus one equals three becomes this kind of signature style of choosing two artists at a time um, in the exhibitions. And, and, and to start off, I chose um, two artists who've known each other for a long time. And I really wanted the exhibition program to start off in this very artist-centered way, really in this idea of handing over the galleries to two artists and then kind of take it from there, rather than the curator kind of spelling out, here's kind of a, a, an outline of what I'd like to see happen. But it was more about, again, having two people work alongside each other and come together to, a, to an exhibition. So I chose two artists, and from now on the exhibition program will be structured in this way with two artists. Um, and so we start off with, with these longtime friends and therefore uh, two people who are very good at working together and who are very knowledgeable about each other's practice and what they like and don't like, and it felt like a good beginning. It's an interesting moment right now as the 40th anniversary of 1968, uh, specifically May 1968, and here we are 40 years later. And so May 968 was this kind of worldwide, really, um, up, uprising movement on the part of students in France especially, but also in the United States, in California, in New York, in Italy, all sorts of different places. And, um, um, you know, it was really characterized by a very deep rejection of authority, a, very, a, a really kind of strong cry for autonomy, for not letting anyone else tell me what to do and for people to be able to live on their own terms. And um, both, are, and especially Olivier, was really an active participant on the streets in Paris at that time. Uh, and John was kind of you know, involved and around also in, in, the, in the years afterwards. But both of their work exemplifies of th this kind of um, commitment to independence and to autonomy and to kind of um, um, you know, not necessarily f going along with market trends or going along with thematic things that might be popular right now, and they're just kind of doing their own thing, which is the May 68 thing. So John Armletter and Olivier Mosse are um, two artists who, again, they're older artists. I mean, both are in their 60s, or John is 60 and Olivier is in his mid-60s. And um, they're very well recognized in Europe, but have, are very unfamiliar to, to American audiences. And so this is kind of a, an, a really a kind of announcement to a broad American uh, audience, both in the Midwest and in the United States in general, of the significance of their, of their practice. Um, Olivier has not really had a big show like this in an American institution before, despite the fact that he's had so many things around the world and so many exhibitions. And, um, and both artists have, What's amazing, you know, in the past few years of me, in an ongoing way, visiting studios, talking to a younger generation of artists, their names, Armledo and Mosse, and their catalogs on the shelves of young artists is just astounding. And I was really struck by how often I came across and found myself in conversations about these two artists. And that was kind of the, the beginning point and the inspiration for like, huh, wow, there seems to be something very relevant about how they approach um, what art is now uh, and the relevance of their of their ideas today and I think a lot of the artists are inspired by a lot of young generation artists are inspired by their kind of ongoing commitment to working on their own terms and this kind of autonomy that they claim in completely opposite ways they both are doing the same thing of being kind of of giving us a lot of nothing 
and um, and I think a lot of artists today feeling this immense pressure to perform, this immense pressure to actually give people something, to give people something they can buy, give people something they can interpret, give some people something they can enjoy. And here are two people who have made great careers of giving people nothing.